Fang Wei. Fang Wei. Well, I bet night. You want me? I told you last month it cost too much to run the kitchen. This month you've spent twice as much. Me really sorry. Cow had eat really much. No more than they always eat. Either you're letting somebody rob me or you're robbing me yourself. Me very Everybody's sorry. Everybody's robbing me. Even the cattle are ten short on the range. It's got to stop. Me very sorry, me. I'll make you sorry. I'll take it out of wages. Now get out of here. What's that? Me say me hope stum don't keep you awake. Me hope you catch them from dream. Oh. All right, go on. so excited about of a night to send for a fellow magpie. What do you want? Blackie said you were fencing in Cypress Springs. Yes, that's right. Funny. Funny I wasn't told about it, and seeing as how the water is on my place. Well, what difference does it make so long as we're going to join up our two spreads? You said I was to be the active head of the partnership. That you told Nancy and me both. Keep your daughter out of this. Here, here, come on. Get your weight off that game leg. Come on over here and sit down. It's getting awfully tender, all of a sudden. Everybody's getting awful tender. But that doesn't stop them from robbing me right and left. I hear. I won't stand for that kind of an insinuation from nobody, not even you, Magpie. Do you want to dissolve the partnership? There isn't any partnership until the agreement is signed. I told you I was going to have Dan Freeman draw up the papers. And I suppose Freeman, as your attorney, objects to the deal. Freeman has nothing to do with it. It's just that I don't want anybody grabbing for the reins until the horses are hitched. Neither does Blackie. When he goes out to tally cattle, he wants to know what range they're on. So, it's your foreman that's doing the squawking. Afraid the partnership might step on his toes. All Blackie's doing is trying to look out for my interest. Then why did he complain about the range busters guarding your herd from the Saddle Mountain Roundup to the stockyards? Was he afraid that he'd lose out? Or was it that he didn't want them guarded too close on their way to market? As bad as things were, I had every right to call on the range busters. 
And I think you were the one who didn't like it. Afraid you might lose out. Maybe... No. I had nothing to lose. If our deal doesn't go through, it's your funeral, Magpie, not mine. What? What happened to him, Blackie? Somebody tied into Fang Wei. I find him coming too down to the woodshed. What happened? Who did it, Fang Wei? Me go with that. Me catch a wood. Go on. Go on. Me catch a wood. Me heard someone coming. Me turn to see. Me catch a more wood on head. Whoever it was must have swatted him. Sure. That's what I said. Who was it, Fang Wei? What did he look like? Fang Wei no see face. She stars. Well, then, how was he dressed? Like that? Could be like that, or so could not be. How about it, Fang Wei? Wasn't it more like that? Fang Wei very mixed up. Me no savvy. You know, they ought to bring close to $10,000, providing they don't use crooked scales to weigh them in. Hey, Crash. Letter for you. Just picked it up over at the hotel. What is it, Crash? Bad news? Well, it's from Magpie Harper asking us to hurry back to the ranch. Does that include me? Nope. You're elected to stay here and see if the cattle are weighed in proper. Dusty and I are needed to scare off some buzzards that are circling over the Harper Ranch. Now, as soon as you collect the money, you follow Dusty and me over at the ranch. Well, hold on a minute, Crash. All this money you're talking about, what am I expected to do with it? Bring it along with you. But, uh, but suppose these same buzzards start circling over my head. Well, you just have to be different and play smart, Alibi. Don't let him spot you. Good luck. My wife live all alone in a little brown hut we call our own. I love her, she loves me some. I'll tell you what, we have some fun. Yeah, <laughs> you and me, little brown jug, how I love thee. Oh, <laughs> you and me, little brown jug, how I love thee. Me and my wife and a stump-tailed dog crossed the creek on a hickory log. My wife fell in, she went kaplunk, and I held on to the little dog stump. Yeah, <laughs> you and me, little brown jug, how I love thee. Oh, <laughs> you and me, little brown jug, how I love thee. <laughs> <laughs> well, here I am, boss. I want no more tomfoolery around here tonight. If there is, I'm holding you responsible. Well, sure, I'll see what I can do, but you know. No buts. You post a guard and keep it posted till the range busters get back here. All right, Magpie. What do you think of my foreman? He's a very good man. <laughs> I hope you're right. Hey, boss call? No, what makes you think so? Boss, you see, uh, Fang Wei made me kitchen doctor. Doctor my foot. Fetch him the grub. Well, it will. Stop babying me. I don't like it. Well, it will. I don't trust anyone who does it. That's why I don't trust anyone on this place except that black beggar. Well, it's sorry. Me catch a mighty stew. Smell like it. Won't she like a ketchup, baby? If I want it, I'll get it myself. Very well. 
Hey, there he is behind those rocks. Hey, look, crash. There he goes. Well, that must be one of the buzzards. Might be making for the ranch. Everything seems quiet as a funeral. Yeah, sure is. Steve. That could be the horse that outran us. Look. Time to cool off. You boys sure delivered that herd in jig time. Oh, hello, Blackie. You been out riding lately? Nope. Why? Oh, uh, who's the horse belong to? Belongs to Coroner. He just got here a few minutes ago. The Coroner? One here. Magpie got killed mysterious last night. Magpie, Magpie got killed? How? Well, who did it? I said it was mysterious. Tell me you got kind of cranky at times. Flew off the handle easy. Oh, he just liked to bluster, but I never met a thing. That's not what his foreman claimed. Blackie Stone? Yep, Blackie something. You and Hopper had some kind of deal cooking, didn't you, Anderson? Well, yes. Though it was getting cold. Mm-hmm. That's what Blackie Stone said. Blackie claims that you and the old man had some pretty hot words a couple nights ago. Is that true? Well, yes, partly. We had an argument, though there was nothing heated about it. That's not what Blackie said. Oh, Blackie Stone again. He's lambasted me and everybody else that Magpie favored. Brady might lose out on something himself if any deals went through. You mean his job as foreman? And maybe that ain't all. Magpie's cattle have been figuring short. And maybe Blackie has been getting more than wages out of his job. That's a pretty serious insinuation to make. No more serious than the one he made about me, wanting you to believe that I murdered Magpie. Why, if I murdered anybody, Blackie would be the man. Wait a minute. One murder at a time is more than enough for me. You better keep an eye on your father, miss. All right, I will. If you turn out to be the murderer, Anderson, you'd have saved me a lot of extra trouble. I had my mind all set on some hungry trout over in Cow Creek. Whoop, Dave. Too bad about Mr. Harper, wasn't it, Mr. Freeman? Terrible. Have they turned up any clues yet? Nothing in particular. All suspicion seems to point to Jack Henderson. Jack Henderson? Well, uh, why Jack Henderson? I've been fighting back and forth. About that partnership deal he had you working on. I suppose that's a dead goose now. Oh, not necessarily. Of course, it will delay it. But, uh... Well, you ought to know. They had you drawing up the papers. Mm -hmm. Over the way, uh, Corrigan and King are in the house. They just got back. Well, uh... <laughs> The boys made a pretty quick trip, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll put your horse away, Mr. Freeman. Well, that's fine. Thank you very much, Blackie.
Just the same, I feel that I should have been here instead of tagging along with a herd of cattle. Oh, I wouldn't feel that way about it. If I were you, Crash, it was because of the cattle the old man sent for you. That's right. All he was thinking about was getting that herd to market and sold. He just thought everything depended upon it. Now, I have a notion that he knew what was going to happen, and he wanted to add the money from the cattle to the nest egg that he was leaving behind. There's just one thing wrong with that theory, boys. There doesn't seem to be any nest egg, and as far as I can learn, there's not a cent in the bank. Well, that's simple. Magpie didn't believe in banks. Not even their checks. That's why he wanted the money in cash. But of course you didn't listen to him. You've been his lawyer long enough, Freeman, to know that you always listen to Magpie. Now that there's no Magpie to object, I'm going to telegraph to Alibi myself. And I'm going to tell Alibi to leave the money on deposit in the bank. But you can't reach him, Mr. Freeman. We've already told you he'd be on his way here by now. And besides, there's nothing to worry about as far as Alibi and that money's concerned. Why, anybody that tries to waylay him will be badly fooled. Fooled? But how? He's not coming directly here. He's going to take that old abandoned trail through Coyote Gulch. I still don't like it. Besides dusting myself, nobody knows anything about that old abandoned trail. That may be true. But there's somebody on this place that knows a lot more than's good for the rest of us. Well, he doesn't know. He seemingly has a way of finding out. I'm quite sure... What are you doing there? Where the bitty won't. Mammy, you like your lemonades. Hey, how long you been standing there? Me no stand, me come from kitchen. Lemonade very good. You suppose he's telling the truth? Now, well, whether he is or not, you fellows can have the lemonade. I'm gonna keep an eye on him and find out who he talks to and where he goes. This is all right, better have some. No, thank you. What I really came out here for was to announce there'd be a reading of Hopper's will next Wednesday. Where? Here at the house. And along with the others, you might notify Nancy Henderson and her father. Well, Dusty, I've got to get back to the office now. I've got things to take care of. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Freeman. Come to think of it, I got a little something to take care of myself. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Nancy? Father's out the barn. I'll call him. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Well, I, I mean, uh, he's got work to do, and it's no use bothering him. Well, besides, I can always talk to him later. That's right. You can, can't you? Uh-huh. You know, I, I was... was uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What were you going to say? Oh, nothing. It can wait. What were you going to say? Um, I, uh... <laughs> yeah? I mean, I was uh, just wondering... Uh, yes? Where is Crash? Crash? Crash who? You know, Crash Corrigan. Oh. Oh, him? <laughs> yes, him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Corrigan. Oh, the last time I saw Corrigan, he was... Uh, he was just going out after a... <laughs> after a certain... Uh, uh, party. Brunette? No, no, a blonde. Uh, the crash is partial to blondes, you know. No, I didn't. That's too bad. <laughs> yes, isn't it? <laughs> too bad. Yeah, <laughs> There's a little green valley I found in a dream A little green valley with a rippling stream The stream's running through, grass is knee deep too In that little valley of mine There's a little green valley I roam every day Paradise on earth that's not far away We'll spend our days watching cattle graze In that little green valley of mine I could pitch a tent on the prairie But that wouldn't do Cause I must have something very for you, I'll build a 
ramblin' house just for we two. A simple little place that we will add on to. So pack all your charms, I'll take you in my arms to that little green valley. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Dusty. What are you doing here? That works both ways, partner. What are you doing here? That's right, Crash. What are you doing here? You haven't forgotten that appointment, have you? Appointment? What appointment? What's this all about? Oh, you remember, Crash. Don't you remember? You had to see that certain party. Now, you better hurry up or you'll be late. Now, quit shoving. Now, what party are you talking about? Why, that little blonde that's waiting for you so patiently. I don't know what you're talking about. The only party that I'm after is that Chinese, Fang Wei. Oh, huh? I get it. So I was going out calling on a blonde, eh? That's what Dusty says. He says you don't like brunettes. He did? Oh, say. Well, you know it. <laughs> so I don't like brunettes, eh? Well, uh, excuse me, I, 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 I gotta be going. I just remembered something. Ah, not so fast, Cupid. You got some more remembering to do. Now, didn't I tell you I was going out to keep an eye on that Chinese Fang Wei? Yeah, come to, come to think of it, you, <laughs> you did, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. And I didn't say I was going out calling on a blonde. Come to think of it, I didn't say I didn't like brunettes either. <clears throat> no? <laughs> come to think of it. <laughs> well, I guess we're all straight on that now, Miss Nancy, aren't we? We sure are. Now you can go, Crash. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, eavesdropping. Excuse. What she say? Missy Nancy wished to hit a chicken. How could Bossy say anything about hatching chickens? Bossy dead. Me very sorry. Before he go Cali West, Bossy say, fit your eggs. Me put on sale. Me forgot. Very sorry. But I never said anything to Uncle Magpie about wanting eggs. Yeah, there's something fishy about this. Let me see those eggs. Why, well, this might mean something. Dear Ned, why, well, this is to you. I may be gone before you get this. If I find my enemies closing in on me, I'll reveal a secret of utmost importance to you. The message I write will be to the range busters. Message to us? What message? May I see this? Why, that's Magpie's handwriting. Look here, Fang Wei. You know anything about any message? Very sorry. Me no sabi. Ah, uh, he's no help. Leave him alone. What are you coughing for? You'd cough too if you had $10,000 shoved down your throat. I've been used for a lot of things, but this first time I was ever used for a bank. I guess I'm really important now. Now? You always were, Elmer. You know, I wouldn't take all the money in the world from you. Not even if I didn't have $10,000 on me? Not even then. You know, I love you like a son, Elmer. I didn't know you cared, Alibi. <laughs> Engines, I've been scout. That'll show you what'll happen. If I aim at your heart. All right, hand over that money. Quit monkey in. It's ten thousand dollars we want. Ten? Ten? Did you say ten thousand dollars? You heard what I said. Gosh, you all hemlock stranger. If you put together all the money I ever dreamed of, wouldn't make half that much. All right, you fellows. Drag him off that horse and search him. You wouldn't. 
think if he wrote a message and expected us to find it, he'd go through a lot of trouble hiding it. Must be he didn't want anybody else to stumble on it by accident. Hold on there, Fang. What's that you've got? No, sir, I mean... Oh, yes, you do. Where'd you get this? Me find there on this. When? Nay, boss, he, he go got it west. Me think he no want anybody to see. Me take. Me no wish to keep. He's telling the truth there, Crash. He was just trying to slip it on that chair. Seems like he wanted us to find it there. Well, there's something funny about this. Why didn't you bring this to me sooner? Me afraid. Me very much afraid. Self men can say, I found have known. I found kill boys. That sounds reasonable, Crash. I might have got all mixed up myself. All right, Fang. But don't you tell us so a thing about this. Fang Wei Savi. Confucius say, mom's the word, huh? <laughs> all right, Fang. Now you go on about your business. Very well, well, I'm glad to. <laughs> what do you make of it, Crash? Oh, I don't know, Dusty. Your guess is as good as mine. Now, let me see. Well, the way I've got it figured, he was sitting here writing that note when somebody came in and shot him. Before he got to what he really wanted to say in the note. Yeah. Say, notice this X marked here. Well, so what? I don't see where that means anything. Maybe not yet. Did you notice these X's on this desk? Why, those are match scratches. Magpies, cheroots that never stay lit. Why, there's scratches like that all over the house. Now you've hit on it, Crash. Hit on what? Match scratches. There must be a trail of them leading to wherever the money's hidden. Don't you see, Crash? The old man must have seen death coming. And all he had a chance to do was to leave some sort of a hint. So he... Your horse is saddled, Corrigan. Much obliged. I guess we'll have to hang a cowbell around that hombre's neck to find out when he's going and coming. Speaking of going and coming, this is where you headed for. You know, there's no rush about seeing Nancy. Anyway, not... All here. right, Casanova, just you keep that in mind. I was going out a piece to look for alibi. Well, what about him? Well, it seems like he's a little overdue. Maybe Freeman was right about people around here finding out too much. I don't know where you'll find him here. Fight off you. I don't know what you hombres bring me here for. Keep him off, sir. Then sit down. What do you want me to do with this doll? I'll do tell you, Alibi. Now, since some bald people think I'm either an old man or a doll. The thing's haunted. Ah. Uh, you stay here and keep your eye on him. I'll see what the boss wants to do with him. Does that thing really talk? Oh, now and then, but most times it needs a little coaxing. What kind of coaxing? Well, if you will untie my hands and put him on my lap, I might get him to Gavin right free. No, I, I can't do that. Nothing from way curious. See what happened. What do you expect to happen? Me no know. For she say, lamb catch him devil. A devil or no devil, it's a funny place to hang a lamp. Unless Harper spent a lot of time in that closet. There's devils in there, Fang Wei. We'll keep them locked up for future reference.
Maybe that hombre we grabbed got rid of the money. And that maverick came along to pick it up. should have been here hours ago. Well, when I was as young as Corrigan, and a girl as pretty as Nancy Henderson was as sweet on me as she is on him. She's sweet on Crash? What are you talking about? Well, sweet on me or not, if she was pretty and agreeable, I'd off time stop by for an hour or two instead of going straight home. No, that might account for Crash. But what about Alibi? He's way overdue, too. Well, his horse could have gone lame. Yeah, maybe he was robbed. He might have been murdered while we sit around here like a couple Now old... listen to me, young fella. I can sit right here and have enough murder stretched into me to drive me gray-headed without going out looking for any. The horse! What is it? What's the matter? There ain't nobody on it. Horse? What horse? Crashes, he just come loping home fetching nothing but an empty saddle. You mean to say Crash's horse came back all alone? Come on, Sheriff. Well, just as I thought, no blood any place. The nag just walked off and left him. Left him? Left him where? Well, when I was as young as Carrigan, and a girl was pretty as... Where are you going? First, I'm going to calm my nerves with smoke. Then I'm going home to bed. I can't be caught napping for the reading of that will tomorrow morning. Well, you can do what you want to. I'm going to do some scouting around myself. Fang Wei said he was going to bed. That means nobody should be in the house, doesn't it? Why, yep, that's the way I'd reckon. I'd swear somebody in the front room just turned the lamp down. Come on, let's see. Maybe I better stay here and hold the horse. All right, I'll be right back. Sailing you. Hey, you. You ain't no ghost, are you? Now, where'd you get that notion? 
I don't know, but there's a rumor around here that you got killed. No, nothing like that. Say, what are you doing up here this time of the night anyway? Well, I promised Dusty I'd stay out here and hold the horse till he come back. Back? Back from where? The house. Somebody turned down a lamp and, and he went up to find out who it was. How long ago? Gosh, I don't know, maybe an hour or two or three. An hour or two? We gotta find out what's happened to him. Let's go. But I can't. I promised to hold the horse. That horse has been broke to stand. Come on. Dusty. 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 What, oh, Dusty? Dusty! Oh, Dusty! Ooh. Look, Cousin Harold, would you mind putting my horse up for the night and grab yourself some shut-eye while I sleep here with one eye open? Now? Yeah, now. Are you fellas sure Blackie was in his bunk when you turned in? Yep, and snoring. Say, maybe the same thing that got Dusty got him. Yeah, and maybe it didn't. Do you know Blackie's horse when you see it? Sure. Well, then go take a look and see if it's still in its stall. Fred, you ride for the sheriff while the rest of us search the place. Come on, will you make it snappy? Now, let's hurry up. It's about time you're getting here. Say, hey, what do you expect a man to wake up out of a sound sleep, jump into his pants, and get someplace like that? What's this I hear about Dusty King getting murdered? Uh, nobody said he was murdered. He ain't, why, you... And nobody said he isn't, either. He went into the house to grab a prowler, and that's the last anybody's seen of him. If I was a swearing man, I'd be aggravated enough to break loose, Carmen. Uh-uh, now that wouldn't help to find Dusty. Find him? Who wants to find him? You and him both are not old enough to take care of yourselves. If the two of you would please get lost for keeps, maybe I could solve a real murder mystery myself. Mm-hmm. What are you settling up for? I'm going out looking for Blackie. Blackie? Is he lost too? Well, he isn't around anywhere, and I aim to find out where he is and why. Seems like that gang of yours sort of run out on you. They'll be back all right, and when they do, they'll wring your neck until you tell them where that $10,000 is. <laughs> that old broken down maverick ain't got no more money than I got here. So you're in on this, too? I ain't in on anything. I'm telling him my partner ain't got no money. But he knows where some's at, and so do you, and if you don't tell, I'm gonna break you right in half. Now, wait a minute, Bill. If you harm Elmer, he'll haunt you all the rest of your life. I ain't scared of haunts. I'm made by Harper. I've been killed. I come back for blood. I for an eye. I know who killed me. And so do others. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Listen, Magpie, if that's really you, I'm Alibi. You know me, Alibi Turhune. And where is Bill? Gone. Ain't here no more. Who is there? Just me and, and Elmer. You remember Elmer? Sure I do, Alibi. This is Dusty. Dusty? Yeah. I'm in an old mine tunnel. You know, it must butt right up against the place that you're in. What kind of fix you got yourself into? Terrible. Elmer's feeling awful because he lost his curly locks and good looks. I found a trick way of getting into this tunnel. It just might be that I might find a trick way of getting out at this end. Where'd you get in? At Harper's Ranch. Seems like I traveled for miles. Must be a whole mountain between us. Hey, wait a minute. Here's a funny looking contraption. You know, it just might be that... I'll get you out of this right away, old boy. Except for the aforementioned request, I, in appreciation of a long friendship, do hereby will and bequeath all the residue of my properties, estate, and monies to Nancy Henderson. Oh, Father. Congratulations, Miss Henderson. Oh, come now. Instead of crying, I should think you'd be delighted. I am delighted. But I wish I could tell Uncle Magpie how grateful I am. Can't we go home, Father? Yes, dear. I've just got to be by myself. Thank you, Mr. Freeman, very much. Not at all, Miss Nancy. Goodbye. Me gone now? Yes, Fang, and just as soon as the estate is settled, I'll see that you get a check for $500. Very much obliged. It's all right. <clears throat> Wake up, Sheriff. School's dismissed. Huh? There's the world been read? Just finished. Who's here? Oh, little dabs here and there. Ranch foreman, Chinese cook, range busters. But most of the money in the estate was willed to Nancy Henderson. How did father take it? Oh, he took it calmly enough. Did you think he knew it beforehand? Oh, no, I'm quite sure he knew nothing about it. Dang it all, murder or no murder. Them trout over in Cow Creek are getting tired of waiting for me. <laughs> if any clue turns up, that's where you'll find me. I'll be sure to call you, Sheriff. I reckon you know what you're about, Dusty, but speaking for me, I'd like to get out of here. Say, where's that breeze coming from? I'm liable to catch a cold in the head. This hombre you're waiting for might put off his visit till we all starve to death, which might make it too late to help find Crash. All right, Alibi, we'll keep moving.
something. Yeah. Now, chances are he'll get close enough for us to grab him before he sees us. Don't breathe, Elmer. Maybe he's found what he's looking for and isn't coming any further. We'd better find out. Hey. What are we gonna do? If he spots us, we'll have to shoot it out. Plum blind. The fellow's chasing him's crash. Come on. Keep riding. Christ might need us. He's chasing the killer. Freeman had made a full confession before. It seems that he had been spying on Magpie and found out about the money hidden in the tunnel. I guess he figured if he got rid of Magpie, nobody would be wiser. Well, what went wrong? Did Blackie see him do it? No, but he did run across some papers in Freeman's briefcase which gave away the fact that Freeman had a criminal record. Freeman? Yes, embezzlement. Hmm. So Blackie decided to go in for a little blackmailing. That's why Freeman had to get rid of him. Sure is complicated. Well, not half so much as it would have been if you boys weren't here. The way the sheriff was bungling the job, I might have been the penalty for Magpie's death. Oh, Father, what a hard subject to talk about. Let's forget all that. I'll get some refreshments. Oh, please don't bother. We gotta be going. We got a long trip ahead of us. You sure have. Yeah, we gotta get a present for a friend of ours, and the only place we can get it is, is Denver. What? Another blonde? <laughs> to tell the truth, it is a blonde. Uh, wouldn't you say, Dusty? No, no, I'd say in this party his hair was more of a straw color. Elmer, he hasn't been the same since he got his top piece shot off in that shoot. Yeah, and we gotta get him a new one, quick. You sure do. The gals don't to me, boy. Shoot all the time. Hold me tight, Alibi. I should think you would look after Elmer. After all, he was wonderfully brave. Oh, me. 
the life of a hero. I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs> but you must all come back soon. Promise? Ah, uh, don't worry. We'll be back. <laughs> yes, we certainly will. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Come on, let's get going. Denver bust you range busters. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye, Mr. Henderson. Goodbye, Dusty. Thank you for everything. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Henderson. Goodbye, it's been a right. pleasure. Goodbye, Thank everybody. you, boys. Right. <laughs> goodbye. Where are you, folks?